Hello there folks, Jose Rodriguez back again. In this video I'm going to try to answer a question posed by a viewer that asks whether the Canon PIXMA Pro 1 can actually print on glossy cardstock. Now there are many ways to do that. I happen to have a box of Red River cardstock. It's pre-scored 9 inches by 6.25 and that is the perfect paper to use for note cards. It comes already pre-scored, so it's just a matter of folding it once you print it. Now, I have premium gloss. Unfortunately, the website does not have an ICC profile for the Pro 1 for premium gloss. They do, however, have one for ultra premium gloss, which I will just go ahead and use. Double click, right click, install profile. Both ways work. Now the profile is installed. We'll go and open up Lightroom. Now, in order to be able to print to that type of odd paper size, you'll have to create your own custom size. And that is done at the driver. So we're going to go to the property section, page setup. And normally you would be greeted by whatever paper size you have defaulted the driver to. So it's just a matter of clicking there, going to custom, and entering your values. In this case, six and a quarter by nine. And we are good to go. Now, you'll have to create a custom template. In this case, I created a picture package that is laid out so that you have a 4 inch by 5.75 wide cell. And I have that centered a quarter inch from the left edge, a quarter inch from the right edge, and a quarter inch from the bottom edge. That will give us another quarter inch right along this line here, so you can see. It lines up with the four and a half, which is half of nine inches. And that's where the score will take place. All right, so that is it. We are ready to print whatever image we load to it. That's the image that will be printed. We're going to go ahead and just use this one here. We're going to choose our printer settings. We'll go ahead and open up the print job tab. And here we will choose the paper profile. We're going to go ahead and click on other and hopefully find that new profile we just installed. We'll go to the Red River section, see if we can find it here, and we'll try to find one. We install for the Pro 1. Here we go. And that is it right there. So now we are all set. We have the proper native resolution for a Canon, 300 PPI. We're gonna change this to glossy, and we'll just apply standard sharpening, or output sharpening. And that is it. At this point, you just hit print. So let's head on over to the printer and get this uh, beautiful note card printed out. Okay, we are standing in front of the Pro 1. I have the media here. This is what the material looks like. It is called scored. And then it'll have the size of the full open sheet or the card and you order it depending on the surface that you would like and there are many different surfaces that are being offered now you can also download templates that you can open up in photoshop and just basically load the image onto the template and that will solve all your layout problems you don't have to worry about what i just went through trying to create a custom uh, template now this is what the paper looks like I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's a pre-scored mark right here, as you can see. My Pro One's going through its customary little mini cleaning, and uh, we'll go ahead and preload this, and go over there and hit print. So you want to have your little guides adjusted to the proper width, you can insert it, and make sure that this is closed. And we'll go ahead and hit print over at the computer and come right back. All right, once it finishes doing whatever it needs to do, it will begin to print. Just so you know, I chose the correct paper type. This will be a common Canon Plus Glossy 2, which is what they recommend you choose. And I'm using the Ultra Premium Glossy Profile for it because there isn't one available for this. I think this particular surface is probably out of production by now or they just haven't yet created a profile for the pro one here we go now what will happen is that the upper half will not be printed on that'll be the rear of the card 
and only the bottom half will be printed. But I am using basically wall-to-wall -wall gloss optimizer. Now you don't have to do that, but I like to do that. And it just provides a very even coating throughout the whole material. Now the test will be once the printed card comes out is whether the ink is able to be smudged by touch. And that's the concern, the main concern that the viewer had, whether glossy on this type of printer would smudge, in other words, unlike matte media, which probably would not. But we will test that, and if we are successful, then that'll be a great thing for that viewer, because then they'll be able to produce as many note cards as they see fit. First, we have to determine how well this printer does on this particular paper here. Now, Red River also provides note card material with some very, very fine different matte surfaces and fine art surfaces. So that's really awesome. You can create some really high-end type greeting cards and note cards. You can also create a template with your logo and maybe a barcode for the what would be the rear of the card. And you can incorporate that throughout the whole process, so it's pretty neat. I have a nameplate that I can attach here with my name and I can actually create whatever uh, barcode I need for merchandising purposes and it will be printed directly on it. As you can see, this is the half that has the image. This will be viewed like this. So basically that's, at this point you locate the score mark. And you want to you could just fold it right by it and as you can see it folds beautifully. Now you may want to burnish this a little bit with a burnisher so that it is totally totally uh, nice and crisp but as you can see it's already pre-scored so it makes the folding just a pleasure and there it is that's the finished note card let me put it here so you can see now let's go ahead and touch it this is this is going to be the gold test i'm going to rub the living daylights out of it and nothing rubbed off so that is wonderful news. I'm glad that worked out. This is going to actually work out for me as well because I like to do this uh, with some of my family pictures. So there you go. That is it. That should answer that question. And uh, another notch in the belt of the Pro One. One more thing that it can do and do perfectly well. All right. So if you like this, please like, please share, please subscribe. All right. So until the next time, bye bye.